But some of us then, and I think even in a different way now, knew we were lesbians, except I didn't know the word. And to be perfectly honest, when I was young, in my, in my you know, from a teenage years, I had a gang, the gang of boys. I was the leader of the gang. It was lots of ways in which I clearly was a little butch dyke, but nobody told me. And one of the reasons is I thought that lesbians were white. If I thought anything, there, were, there wasn't much speech about lesbians back in the 1950s and early 60s. We are here. We, well, as we marched, as we walk today, extraordinary having police officers not beat us with truncheons, as I recall they did. They were protecting us. We have come quite far, but I think as a reaction, it seems to me as a possible reaction to the, the, the gains that we have made as women and as lesbians, this trans stuff has grown as the means by which, yet again, women and specifically lesbians can be silenced. I lost custody of my children because I was a lesbian. This is an early case in 2000, no, not 2000, if only. Um, 1980s, I can't remember now the exact date. But what wonderful thing that happened is my ch children chose to come and live with me. And I, I say this because we can be very negative about the dreadful things that happen to many of us here as lesbians, but we have come through it and we will again. What I want to say, particularly because I don't want to get waffle on and I can, <laughs> what, what I want to say is that we have a lot of experience and knowledge and I think we must stand firm in not only being feminists, as most of us are, but lesbian feminists. And I think we need to show now leadership. They are attacking. It won't be the first time that women have been attacked, whether we are called witches or whatever. There are always, there have always been means of attacking us as women. We as lesbians make clear that we are independent women. And that makes us even more <laughs> threatening. So what have some of the men done? They now claim to be women. <laughs> and not just women beside us, but women over us. So I think we go back. I don't really want to fight them. I, I frankly, I want us to stand in solidarity with each other as women. <laughs> of which lesbians are a crucial part. It's not, for me, it's not either or. My daughter is heterosexual. My granddaughters, two of them, and one of them who's 24, in extraordinary, having a granddaughter of 24. <laughs> and when I get challenged as I nearly was going to the toilet there about being in the men's toilet, you know, I was a woman in the ladies, funnily enough, <laughs> I, rem I, uh, I have to remember and assert to myself that I may be a proud dyke, but I'm also a proud woman. We have to not just hang on, but assert our being women. 
And I do, I want to make a final point. It's, it's, not, it's not a funny point, but imagine white people claiming to be black. I say to you that it is absolutely equivalent for men claiming to be women. That's it. I want to say no more. Let us talk with each other, stand strong, and resurrect a women's liberation movement of which, of which lesbians can and should be proud members.